Welcome back. This is Chili Davis, and I'm back to another video. I want to welcome back all my subscribers and all my new viewers. This is a channel where we talk about my top stocks. We also talk about dividend paying stocks and business ventures that generate passive income. Uh, tonight, we're just going to talk about a few stocks, including Tesla in Bank of America and a few other dividend paying stocks. So uh, the big news is on Friday, uh, Tesla did come out with a new product. Uh, here it is. Uh, for AI Day, Tesla came out uh, last year with a concept of the robot. Uh, this year, they actually showed the robot live performance at the AI Day, and here it is. Uh, also, uh, they did preview sort of the next generation of the AI robot uh, compared to uh, what it will look like uh, versus today. So here it is. The robot actually does a lot more than what they showed off, Musk says. Uh, it, they did this show that at the um, conference on Friday. So uh, that is exciting news that <clears throat> uh, within one year, uh, Tesla was able to take a conceptual uh, prototype to much, much more. All right. So there it is. Uh, in one year, uh, Tesla did. Uh, take a product from conceptual to actually development. And hopefully in the next year, uh, they'll have something even better. Okay, so that's Tesla. Uh, that is the stock. Uh, right now, Tesla is trading about $265 per share. Uh, we are in a bear market. Uh, many stocks have been trading down. And as interest rates continue to be hiked, uh, Many stocks are looking for anywhere from another 10% down uh, in the next coming month. Okay, so uh, Tesla stock right now at a uh, at the 52-week low is $206 uh, and a 52-week high of 414 And, of course, being technology or more forward future-looking stock, technology pays no dividend. Okay, so that's the news. Uh, Tesla presented the new humanoid robot uh, that uh, he touted that could help uh, possibly build or manufacture the Tesla vehicles. Uh, we'll see Monday morning if the stock gets a bounce on that news, uh, but we're just in a bear market, so I don't think it, it will have much effect. Uh, but again, uh, Tesla did reveal the new vehicle, I mean, excuse me, the new robot product. And on October uh, 20th, Around that time, they will announce an earnings call. Okay, so earnings call um, will be uh, late October. Uh, also, the numbers for Teslas sold during the quarter, uh, 343000 in the quarter. So uh, the earnings call will be late October. Uh, that is the good news so far. We have the number of vehicles sold in quarter three of 2022. All right. So earnings call later this month that we talking about earnings per share, uh, revenue, profit margins, etc. But right now we have on Friday, the release of the Tesla robot uh, by Elon Musk on AI day. Okay. Uh, next stock to talk about is Union Pacific. Union Pacific uh, is a publicly traded railroad holdings company uh, trades around $194 per share. Uh, but it does pay a dividend stock, okay? So that includes a 2.67% dividend stock, dividend paying stock. Uh, it's been around since 1969, headquartered out of Omaha, Nebraska, okay? Uh, now, many of these stocks have been going down. If we look at the last six months of the stock, uh, the stock has traded from a high of $260 down to $194, so down over 24% on the last six months, okay? Uh, but again, uh, Union Pacific, a railroad company, is part of the major economy of porting goods and service across the nation. I would not be surprised that Warren Buffett owns a piece of, of Union Pacific, okay? Uh, so that's the news. Uh, dividend pay stock, Union Pacific. I do own this one, and I was paid a uh, dividend on Friday. Okay. Next October is Bank of America. Um, 
Bank of America has seen trouble this year too. Uh, is down over 34% a year, uh, but it is a p dividend pay stock of 2.91%, and it's led by Brian Monaghan. Uh, I'm hoping that by the beginning of next year, this stock turns around. But again, I, I do not expect this stock to trade up uh, in the coming weeks. They do report earnings later in October as well. Uh, Bank of America uh, has many products serves, in including mortgages, including investment products and services, uh, a multifaceted business, uh, Bank of America, uh, which is trading down over the year 34%. Okay, so uh, Fed rate hype are pushing credit markets toward dysfunction. Uh, looks like Bank of America had a comment out last week, report by Bloomberg. Institutional investors may adopt severe steps uh, as after Bank of America. Okay, so we did hear from uh, Bank of America about downgrading Apple stock, uh, saying that uh, even Apple stock could face more cuts as they see lower demand for the new iPhone 14 and other related products and services by Apple. Okay, so as the news, again, Apple and Bank of America have been trending down and uh, Bank of America did downgrade the stock uh, on last Thursday or Friday. Okay, so that was Apple that, let's see, was downgrade Bank of America on Friday. Let's see, Apple still had an awful September, but the quarter wasn't half bad. Uh, okay, so that is the news there. Again, it, it, Bank of America, a good solid dividend pay stock. Uh, is trading around thirty dollars, but their uh, analysts did Wall Street did downgrade Apple stock in the last week, which is giving a lot of people fears about the market because tech technology wise, Apple was thought to be a safe place uh, for investors. Okay, now last stock we'll talk about today is GTN or Gray Television Incorporated Networks. Uh, they do pay a dividend of two point two three percent. Gray Television. Network is an American public trade television based in Atlanta uh, and was founded back in 1946 by James Gray as Gray Communication Systems. Uh, so this stock has been, this company has been around for quite a number of years. I'm not sure when they went public uh, and does have employees over 8,608. All right. So uh, Gray Television Networks does pay a dividend of 2.236 over the year. And that was another stock that I got paid on Friday for owning. All right. So that is the news. Uh, pretty much the big weekend uh, Friday was uh, Tesla did release the new uh, AI. And on AI day, they did release a new version of the Tesla robot called Optimus. And uh, they did do a little few demos of the robot waving its hand at the conference. And uh, Elon Musk and his team expect to do way more uh, and also are hiring at Tesla for more people to do more innovations with the robot in the future, as well as self-driving cars and many, many other product service. Uh, so that is the news. So I want to thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. Please like share if you'd like to get started in your investment journey today. Please use my link below uh, from Robinhood and have a good week.